engineering drawing course we are today i am going to give the steps to solve the problem in section of solids so today we consider the problem coal right the problem is a cone of base diameter 40 mm and height 50 mm rests on its base on hp it is cut by a plane perpendicular to vb and inclined at 40 degree to hp the cutting plane means the axis at 20 mm from the vertex draw the front view sectional top view and true shape of the sections this is the question here so here we need to underline the important things already i told that five parameters we need to understand first one is object what is the object here object is cone what are the basic dimensions of for the cone it is given as 40 mm diameter and height 50 mm these are the two basic parameters required for the cone and third one is object orientation orientation is it rest base on hp it rest its base on hp so three parameters we have completed and the fourth one the theta that is theta angle of section plane is given as 40 degree to hp section plane or cutting plane is 40 degree to hp and the position of cutting plane that is 20 mm from the vertex the cutting plane means the axis at 20 mm from the vertex vertex means the top point apex point so draw the front view sectional top view and the true shape of the section we know that there are two types of problem in this section of solids one is type one problem what do you mean the type one problem means right type one problem means the cutting plane or section plane is inclined to HB. Section plane, right? Section plane or cutting plane is inclined. Is inclined to HB means it is a type 1 problem. Right? If the section plane is inclined to VB, then we call this type 2 problem. So this is the type 1 problem we understand from 40 degree to H. Now I am going to demonstrate you how we are going to solve this problem by using the principal planes and the solids. Then we I will draw the same thing on the board, right? So this is our uh, principal planes, vertical plane and horizontal plane. This is the cone, right? Cone, fifth fourth cut. Now this is the cone. Always in type 1 problem, our section of solids we keep the object on HP. It is given as on HP. It is given as what? The object is placed on HP. Now we are going to cut this object. So for which we are going to cut in this way. Right? We can keep the cutting plane in certain inclination to HP. Then we are going to remove. Here the cutting plane removes the top forces. It moves like this. It slices and the top portion is removed. Then the remaining portion we want to draw the corresponding projections. For which first step you need to draw the top view of this cone. It will be seen a circle in HV. Then corresponding front view you need to draw in vertical plane. It will be seen as the triangle. Then we are going to cut here. The, by using this kind of plane. It will be seen as the straight line. It cuts the cutting points in this surface in the generator lines we need to mark right then you draw the corresponding top view that is we call the sectional top view then we want to view that after cutting we need to view in this directions we are going to view in this direction then we are going to project in axillary plane that view is that is we call the true shape of the section that is we call this what true shape of the section this is for our understanding now i will explain the same by using our board so how we are going to solve this particular problem right so uh, we know the first step <coughs> always we need to draw the xy reference line. always we need to draw the xy reference line first okay so you need to draw this xy reference line 
this is xy reference line and you can mark above the xy line you can mark it as vertical plane below the xy line you mark it as horizontal plane now we are going to draw the top view first so this is the cone now i am going to draw the top view of the cone it will be seen as the circle top view of the cone will be seen as the circle so i am going to draw this uh, circle uh, so you need to draw this now you can take the 20 mm radius because the diameter is given as 40 mm so you can take by using the compass you need to take 20 mm radius then we are going to uh, draw this particular uh, top view now we can divide this right we can divide this cone into eight parts how we are going to divide first you draw one vertical line and you need to draw one horizontal line like this then you need to draw one 45 degree inclined line another 45 degree inclined line so this is the way we need to divide this cone into 8 divisions now i am going to uh, mark the points right the bottom corner points i am going to mark them here this is the point a b these are the generator points c d e f g h so what i done first step you need to draw the top view of cone so top view of cone is nothing but the circle first draw the circle for taking the 20 mm radius automatically we get 40 mm diameter after that i marked the center point o through which i draw this projection lines so i join this generator line with all the corner points step number one is four this is the completion of step number one draw the top view you draw here now i am going to draw the front view for which from the center o i want to extend here and take the 50 mm as the axis height so i want to mark this axis line this is my axis line so i mark this axis line and draw the corresponding projection from all the generator points or base points to the your xy line all these points you need to draw the projection lines right so this is the projector lines now i am going to mark these points because a is this point so i will mark it as a dash here b and h so b dash is visible h dash is invisible i put in the bracket c is visible g is c dash and g dash i marked in within the bracket here d is visible and f is invisible so i marked f dash and the final point is e dash so these are the uh, corner points name i given now i need to join this this is the point already we marked as apex point as o dash now we need to join this outer line first so we get the triangle like set this is the triangle like things this is actually the front view of the cone also you draw this generator line you connect this b dash point with o dash similarly you need to join this point also and this generator points also you need to so i drawn the front view right so step number two is over now step number two is over then i am going to draw the section plane how to draw the section plane for which we are going to use the two information one is 40 degree to hb and 20 mm from the vertex so from the top you mark 20 millimeter right and you simply you draw this uh, line like this then using protractor you like to draw one uh, 40 degree line you need to draw one 40 degree line right this is our 40 degree line i draw like this this is my 40 degree. So this is the section plane. This is the section plane. 
through the solid cuts. After that, I will dot, draw one dot, a smaller dot, then one thick line, one thick dash, thick dash. It represents the section plane. You need to mark this arrow on both sides. It represents your SP. Already I told that SP is nothing but section plane. So I drawn the section plane on this solid for this angle is 40 degree and the apex point this point is actually the 20 mm from the vertex this meeting point so remaining portion of the solid you need to turn only this lower portion only available because i removing this top portion only remaining portion only i need to draw as the thick line remaining portion and bottom also, bottom base also, I need to draw this thick line. So don't draw this uh, generator line. Only outer line only, we need to give the darkness. Remaining thing, we can leave as it is. So this portion is ready. Now I am going to give the name for this cutting point. Because here we have the 8 generator line. It connected with O, A, O, B like this. Now OA through which I will have one point I call as the cutting point giving the name one dash and we have here two cutting points that cutting points I will mark it as two dash and this point I have another two cutting points three dash and another point I will mark later here I have the another point as four dash this is my cutting point five dash so OA one OB2, OC, OD, OE. Then coming into the back side, we have another three points. So in OF, I have the point number six. So I will mark it as six dash within the bracket. And OG, I have another point. In the center point, I have this point seven dash. And coming into OH, I have another point eight dash. So you need to mark all eight points. One, two, three. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 points you need to mark on the cutting surface. So we draw the section plane and mark the point. Now we need to draw the, this cutting point is to be projected to top view. Right? So the first point, 1 dash is projected through this vertical line. It is by right lines. By using 2H pencil you need to draw. It cuts somewhere at OA. Somewhere at OA, I will give this is the point 1. This is the cutting point 1. I got cutting point 1. From 2 dash and the 8 dash, I will draw another vertical line. From 2 dash and the 8 dash, right? 8 minutes and the 8 cuts somewhere at the OB line. This point I will mark it as 2, and this point I will mark it as 8. 2 and 8. Here in 3 dash and 7 dash it passes on the vertical line so it is to be drawn on horizontal line. How we are going to draw these points, location of these points. For 3 dash and 7 dash you extend this point to this generator, outer generator then you need to draw one vertical line through that generator line. Through that generator line. Now take O as center, this point as radius, you need to draw one semicircle, you need to draw one semicircle. It indicates, it means this center line or vertical line, we get the point 7 as well as 3. So how many points we got so far? 1 through 1 dash point and 2 and 8 from this point and from the center you need to draw horizontal line. Then extend this line in OA line, then take O center, draw one semicircle, we get another two meeting points, 7 and 3. Then we coming into this 4 dash and 1, 6 dash point, you need to draw another vertical line from here, this point. That point is to be marked here. This is my point number 6, this is my point number 4. Finally, you come into the 5 dash point. You need to draw the vertical line from there. It will be meet at OE. That is our line at the point 5. 
So how many points I got? 8 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I need to join this point by smooth curve by using your French curve. You need to use your French curve for connecting this. It will use the actually the cut sharp space of this particular hole. So you need to join this to get smooth surface. We will get some smooth surface. This will be darker by then HB pencil. By using HB pencil you need to talk. Then only you get the removed surface. This is the removed surface. So here it will be seen as the top view that is the one full circle at the outer and this may be some elliptical section. This is we call this apparent section. Now we need to draw the perpendicular line which represents the cutting or section. So sorry, uh, this we may draw the 45 degree equally spaced line which represents the apparent section of this particular port, removed portion. So that's why you need to draw here. This is another step I call this 3. So 1 and 3 you need to draw in top view. Now we are going to draw the Final step number 4 <coughs> that means you need to draw the true shape of this section for which now consider section plane parallel to section plane right you draw one leave some space after word as you need to draw one parallel line to SP I will mark it as this one as X1 and Y1 that is the axillary reference plane right now i am going to draw the perpendicular line from sp all these cutting points we need to draw one perpendicular line from one dash i need to draw one perpendicular line right then from two dash and eight dash i need to draw another perpendicular line from three dash and seven dash we need to draw another perpendicular line then four dash and six dash we need to draw the another perpendicular lines. Finally, from five dash we need to draw another perpendicular. Lines. So we need to draw all the perpendicular lines. Now take the measurement from OY. All these cutting points marked in the top view. For example, in this line O <coughs> by the compass X Y to one distance is to be measured, and from on this projected line you need to mark this point. That point is I call this what? 1, 1. Then second line you need to mark this point. Measure this point. Right? The distance of 2 from XY and 8 from XY. You need to mark these points as 8, 1. And this point here I mark it as 2, 1. Right? Then we need to mark 3 and 7 in the this line i need to mark here 7 1 and here 3 1 then consider the 4 and 6 you need to mark here this is the 6 1 and this point i marked as 4 1 then consider the fifth point here you measure this fifth point from x y from x 1 y 1 you need to mark so this is the way we need to mark all these eight points here. Now also by using your French curve, you need to join by smooth curve, right? You need to join these eight points by right? your one not this uh, by using the French curve. You need to join these eight points. You get some elliptical shape, some elliptical section we got. So this is the way we need to draw this and for in order to draw these uh, hatching lines the inside portion is to be erased. Now we are going to draw one 45 degree line through this x1 y1 you get this this is our section or hatching lines. So now we need to draw this circle. Uh, sorry, this ellipse, whatever we, the smooth curve we obtain, we need to join these points because this is the true shape of this section. This to be joined by using French curve and the top by using the 
HB pencil. So I will give the name for this one. This is nothing but what? True safe. True safe of section. True safe of section. This is my step number four. This is my step number four. Step number two is for I call this what? This is my front view. This is my front view. And here this view I call this what? Sectional top view. The name of this view is what? Sectional top view. So this is the answer for this particular problem. I will quickly rewind the steps. So first thing you draw the xy line then draw the top view of the core right you take the 20 mm radius draw the circle then divide the circle into 8 parts give the name as a b c d a to h then mark the point o then you draw the vertical line and the axis line for 50 mm height you need to mark point o as this is the uh, vertex point now you need to draw the projection from all these points and give the names base points a dash b up to h dash right now we are going to draw the section plane for which you can use the theta 40 degree to h b and 20 mm from the vertex you draw this inclined line it shown as this is my section plane this is my section plane then you need to give the section points 1 dash to 8 points because we have the 8 generator 8 points the remaining bottom portion only you need to draw only this portion remaining this portion top portion is removed right ok then these cutting points is to be projected to the top view then we get these cutting points joined by French curl then you draw this 45 degree equally spaced uh, hatching lines then get your sectional top view then coming into the step number 4, draw another reference line x1, y1 parallel to sp, right? And to draw perpendicular to all cutting points, right? Now take the measurement of all the cutting points in the sectional front view, top view from x, y. Then you transfer through compass on the corresponding projection line. Then you need to join, give the names as 1, 1, 2, 1 up to 8, 1. You need to join all these points by French curve. Then we need to connect, we get the, some elliptical shape like this. So this is we call the true shape of this. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.